Well, rent prices, they are jumping all over North Georgia, getting so much harder for people to afford. And that is driving a lot of people who are struggling just to make ends meet. They need to now look for help. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner was in Clayton County today to discuss how one organization has seen changes, both good and bad, in helping people stay in their homes. The Clayton County Community Services Authority has spent the past 50 or so years helping people in South Metro counties stay in their homes. But with rent prices on the rise, that's becoming increasingly more difficult. More difficult because the need is greater. Those prices of those homes are pretty, are pretty much going up. Isaiah Zimmerman directs community support at the CCSA. Everybody's been hard hit. Every city, every county in the metro area has been hard hit. The problem is stark. According to Zillow, in just the past year, Clayton County rents have gone from an average of $1,600 per month to more than 2000 I believe it's still an issue. However, you know, Clay County is taking a lot of steps that we know of to try to eliminate some of the backlog. That eviction court backlog was caused by rising rents as well as pandemic-related shutdowns, and it's taken its toll on tenants and landlords. But there is good news. Clayton County says eviction mediation is helping clean that up. It's slow progress, but it's progress. Mediation keeps people out of court with landlords and tenants reaching deals, solving housing issues faster. Mediation takes place mostly through Clayton County Magistrate Court, where officials say they've used examples from cities like Philadelphia and New Orleans to solve the problem. Still, with rents rising, Zimmerman knows the number of people needing help is likely only going to increase. But maybe the amount of time renters and landlords are spending in limbo can keep going down. We've been able to help a lot of families. In Clayton County, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.